In this video, I'm going to explain how to estimate demo or demolition for commercial industrial type electrical projects. Okay, I'm going to show you kind of a simple way to do it and then a more complex way to do it. So first of all, on this screen you see that I created an estimate. I actually created the estimate called how to demo or how to estimate demolition. Okay, that's the name of this estimate. But here's the point that I want to make. Oftentimes if I'm if I'm doing an estimate and there's extensive demolition, like lots and lots of it, I might break it out into a separate section. Here you see I have a section called electrical over on the left here and a section called demo. Okay, so again, in jobs that require a lot of demolition, I might create a separate or usually do create a separate section. Okay, that said, let me go to the next step. I'm going to click take off edit in the demo section here and it'll open up a new screen. Now, I want to explain something. If I'm just estimating a project and there's a little bit of demo to do, I might just go manually input that labor. And here's what I mean. I would sit over the blueprints and I would determine how many hours I thought it would take to demo items, and then I would input them using this Add Labor button at the top right. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click on Add Labor. And in this example, I'm just going to say simply that I look at the I looked at the blueprints in this example, and I determined that it's going to take eight hours of demolition. So I might type in a description demo. I like to be real exact with my description. Uh, this is uh, this is from my computer. Don't pay attention to this down here. Um, it's trying to auto populate, which I should shut that off. So I, I, let's say I want to demo ten light fixtures. I type in demo type 10 light fixtures and then there's a couple different ways I can do this okay I'm going to show you this uh, two different examples of the simple way here let's say I think it'll take 15 minutes per fixture I'm going to put in 10 a quantity of 10 because there's 10 lights and I'm going to put in 0.25 hours which is 15 minutes right 0.25 hours so again th in this example I just say I had to demo 10 fixtures um, I put in a quantity of 10 uh, 15 minutes each which is 0.25 hours and click save now that's the first way I want to teach you to do it I'll show you another method also okay here's another example I'm going to do the same thing here and click the add labor button okay so this is another way you can do it let's say that I that uh, I look at the blueprints and I think it'll take two guys eight hours to do demo okay so in the description I just type in demo okay I'll put in the quantity of two for two guys and eight hours okay again my example was I thought it would take two guys eight hours to do the demo so again I typed in a description demo type in a quantity of two eight hours when I save this it's gonna it's going to total it at 16 hours okay that's another way now those are the simple if you will the easy way to to estimate demo now I'm going to show you a much more complex way and the complex way I'm about to show you is one that if you have lots and lots of demo you'll use this method instead of just a simple method okay I'll show you that now I want to explain something let's say that I have an a, an estimate to do where I have to estimate lots and lots of demolition let's say that I have to estimate the demo of feeder conduits panels and circuit breakers light fixtures, receptacles, and so on. Okay, now I'm just going to give you a quick example of the complex method, but long story short is what you do is you do an accurate material takeoff of the items that you have to demo, and you input those materials. But let me show you what you do special. Okay, so long story short, in, in demolition, it takes about half the time to demo something as it is to install it. Okay, and since you're doing demo, it doesn't require any materials. So let me show you an example. I'm going to input a conduit run here using my conduit wizard. Now, I probably won't show you the whole process. I'm going to show you the output, the outcome. Okay, so I'm going to say that I want to demo 180 feet of 3-inch EMT, with with four five hundreds and four nineties okay you're gonna see that that input here now okay I decided to show you my input here I'm using the conduit wizard here let me just close it real quick I went into the wizards I click the wizards button up here I click on conduit wizard okay the conduit wizard pops up now I'm gonna fly through this I'm not gonna do a lot of explaining because I'm not showing you how to use a conduit wizard but how to estimate demo so I'm gonna set it for EMT and three inch that was my example and click find 
and I'm just going to go through here and, and add this again to get it done. So I said there was 180 feet in my example. Type that in total length of all runs. I'm just going to say it was one run. Now I click the drop down. Again, my example was 500 MCM that there were four of them, okay? Now I'm flying through this, I know, but again, I'm showing you how to estimate the demo. I'm going to say there was a three aught copper ground. And I'm just going to change the wire makeup to 7 feet and say there were 490s. Now, again, this is my example, but what you would do for reals is <laughs> you would, you would um, determine or, or do exact takeoff of everything that you have to, to, to demo, and you would input it. Now, I'm going to click the Add button, and you'll see it populate to the right here. I'll close the Conduit Wizard. Okay, here, now I'm down to it here. I want to show you this. Okay, again, in my example, or in my explanation, I was telling you that the material price for demo, of course, is zero, because you're yanking stuff out. You're not putting it in or installing it, okay? So what you do is you go into the unit price column here on each item, and you make it a zero, okay? Now, on the next screen, you're going to see, I'm going to pause my recording, you're going to see that I've zeroed all the unit prices in here. Okay, there you go. So now you see where I've made the... Um, the unit price for, or the material price for all the items that I plan on demoing, a zero. Okay. Now next, here's the other thing. I just what you do is you go down the labor hours row and you make it one half of whatever is shown there. Again, it takes about half as much time to demo as it does to install. So I just go estimate this. Now guys, close counts on this. Okay. You don't have to have it exact. I pretty much just fly through it. I round it, okay? So let's say, for instance, see it shows 9.9 .9 hours per 100 feet to install this 3-inch. I'm just going to call that 10 hours. In other words, round it up to 10 and divide by 2, okay? It takes half as much time. I'm going to change that to a 5 for 5 hours. I just go item by item and change them. This is 4.92 hours per 100. I'm just going to make it 2, okay? I'm going to say half is 2, close enough. Okay, guys, see what I'm doing here? I just go down, I zero the materials, I cut the labor in half, okay? And next screen, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and you'll see the result. This one here is 15.66 hours. I'm going to make it a 7. There we go, and so on. Now, sometimes uh, I notice that the elbows have 0.31 hours. Sometimes I might just zero them, okay? There's not very much labor included in that. I'll just zero that one, okay? The labor is 26 hours per thousand. I'm going to change it to 13. And the, the uh, ground wire here, I'm going to change that to 7. And then when I'm all done, I click the Save button. I'll do that now. Okay, there you have it. So again, my tip was to create a separate section and put the demo in when, it, when there's a lot of demolition. Go input the actual materials, zero the material price, and cut the labor in half, okay? Now I'm going to use one more example of that and show that. Something else to keep in mind is you can input assemblies of items, okay, for demo. Like in this example, I'm going to say that uh, I have to demo uh, 10 plugs. So I'm going to go to the assembly catalog, drill down into, I'm doing this real fast, but I want to show you the results of it, commercial industrial. I'm going to go into receptacles. I'm just going to drill down until I find the receptacles and uh, it, it almost doesn't matter what type of receptacle, if it's the right amperage, if it's spec grade or, na or normal grade, because, um, because you're, there's no material cost here. But I'm going to go down to assembly here, which is the number six, which is the one receptacle, 20 amp. I'm going to say I want to demo 10 of those. So I go input it and click add. Now again, same drill applies here. I'm going to go zero the unit cost of materials. And there you see the results of that. Oop, I missed one here. I got to change that one to zero also. There we go. 
And then again, next I could just go down and change uh, the, the labor to about one half. Now when you get into fractional like 0 0.07, just make that a zero. It doesn't matter that much, okay? But here I'm going to end up changing this to about point or I'm going to change it to point 0.1 hours. It was point 0.22, okay? Then I might just even zero the rest of these. I mean it shows a pigtail there. That would come out with a box and a plaster ring. So I'm going to change this one to 0 0.1 because it's 0 0.2 now, 0 0.1, and then I'll just go through and zero the rest of them. Now another choice is, is just to leave them alone, okay? I could either zero this or leave it alone because it's not adding very much labor. In this case, I prefer to zero it. Okay, there, there you see it complete. Again, I zeroed the material cost. Well, let me start over. I input an assembly, I ten, 10 receptacles. Okay, zero the materials, cut the labor in half, and next I go up to the top and click Save. Click the Save button to save my work. Okay, guys, now I want to caution you about something here. If you're doing demolition for, say, fluorescent light fixtures, you might have to pay a disposal fee for those fluorescent lamps, okay? Sometimes owners want you to box them up and hand them back or give them back to them. Um, but if you're responsible for the demo and disposal of fluorescent lamps, then you must, you must get a price from a hazardous lamp disposal company get a price and you must plug that number in to the expenses now I'm just gonna walk through that real quick okay um, I'm I'm done here again the idea is if it, if you have a big demo job to actually do an, a full material takeoff all the conduit wire panel circuit breakers fixtures input that and do it like I showed you zero the unit price and change the labor to one half. Now I'm going to go to the recap right now to show what I mean about paying or setting up the disposal fee for the for the uh, fluorescent lamps, okay? I'm not going to input it here, I'm going to go to the recap and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the recap and with the recap open I'm just going to go down to expenses. See it about halfway down? Now again I added a section specific for demo over here, okay, and I'm going to go down to the expenses in the demo section, okay, and over here is expenses. I'm going to click on the underlined zeros, and in my example, I'm going to say that I have to pay for the disposal of fluorescent lamps. Now, that isn't listed in the expenses here. I'm scrolling down here. These are the expenses, and I happen to know it's not listed here, so I'm just going to change this one right here. I'm going to say fluorescent lamp disposal. I'll abbreviate. In this example, I'm going to say I got a price from a disposal company that my cost for disposing of the lamps is $765. So I just click in here, type 765, and then I click save and close to capture again the cost of the hazardous waste disposal for those lamps. Okay, hope that helps you to understand um, how to estimate demo. And again, in my example, when I'm doing uh, estimates for big demo jobs, I make a separate section and then it, it breaks out the hours separate. In this case, you can see I have 48 hours in the, the section of demo. And again, I plug in my expenses there. Okay, hope that helps understand how. As always, you can call us or you can click help up here if you need help with different things, okay? Take care, best success.